Hey, is that so? Back in the Premier League, not Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't really sunk in yet, to be honest. Um, you know, it's a lifetime goal of mine. Uh, probably plenty of the other boys, um, you know, aim as well in their career. Um, you know, in my opinion, the best league in the world. So, yeah, what an achievement for all of us and can't wait to get started. How unexpected has this season been for you in terms of success? Um, yeah, it's, you know, I didn't, nobody could probably see it coming, especially after the first five or six games uh, with the results that we had. But um, you know, we always knew that we had we had talent in, in the dressing room. Uh, Mario would tell you the same. It was just a matter of trying to get it to work, and you know, the boss found the solutions in the end to get to get it was ticking, and um, we didn't look back since. What particular challenges are you looking forward to next season? Uh, playing against the best players, you know, some of the best players in the world, um, and seeing how me and myself um, handle that. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to what I can learn and see how that kicks me on to, to the next level, seeing where I can go from there. Any striker in particular that you either are looking forward to playing it or fearing playing it? Uh, obviously, the usual, like Aguero and things like that, um, you know, his finishing ability. Um, but, you know, some teams have got electric pace as well, with like Rashford, um, you know, they'll, they'll all be tough. Um, you can't forget about any of them, Deeney at Watford, you know, there's, there's, there's loads of them, you know, they're all, in, they're all in the Premier League for a reason, so there'll be some tough challenges and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mario, some important goals this season, most notably recently against Sheffield Wednesday in the last seconds. Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing my job, right? <laughs> what should I say? Um, obviously, yeah, as you said, important goals, but I um, uh, guess every goal is important in this, in this uh, promotion season, so yeah, just happy. I know you've been here for two or three years now, but how much did you know about Norwich before you came here? Uh, it's actually a funny story. My, one of my best mates, he, uh, his mother is from Norwich and when I was like 12 or 13 years old, we, we used to play together and he said, I see you coming, uh, yeah, one day you're going to play for, for Norwich City in the Premier League and yeah, I achieved it. So yeah, just like that. Yeah. Has he so. got a lottery numbers for this week? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, Again, what, what, what challenges are you looking forward to? Looking forward to going to any particular grounds or playing against any particular players? Um. I think, as ben, as Ben said, to to play one uh, against the best players in the world. I think uh, the Premier League is the best league, uh, no doubt about that. And I'm just I'm just looking forward to play against each and uh, any team, uh, regardless if it's um, at Anfield or Old Trafford, but also Carrow Road. It's it's very very nice to play. So yeah, just looking forward to any game. And finally, from both of you, can you just give us an insight into Daniel Farker? Because I mean. He's been here two years now, um, but we don't really know what makes him tick, if he's fun or if he's how, how he works at the place. Can you give us an insight, both of you? He's, he's really relaxed. To be honest, I would say personally, he is fun, but he demands high standards um, and very hard work rate as well. You know, that's that's important to him. Um, first and foremost but yeah you know it's, it's, it's very um, it sticks with his philosophy no matter what which is good you know you know what you're doing you know what he expects all the time so you know it's good to work on that it gives you sort of a, a confidence boost and that sense of uh, freedom as well especially as a young lad as well. Yeah I think uh, he gave the young lads uh, many young lads a chance um, he, he has his philosophy and um, he has a good balance between being kind of uh, a mental mental coach also like as Ben said he demands a lot and just a good balance between uh, between everything. Mario, um, one of the managers you'll come up, up against next season will be Jurgen Klopp. Mm -hmm. Tell us about his influence in your career. <laughs> Obviously, he has a huge, inf uh, yeah, big influence in my in my career. Um, he was my first, um, yeah, senior senior manager. Uh, I've known him for oh, almost 15 years now. We are still in touch. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, one of the yeah, most important persons in, in my career, and also in um, Borussia Dortmund. He signed me for Borussia Dortmund when I was in a in a yeah, very very difficult situation, and um, I would yeah, also give me kind of a second chance there. From there on, it um, yeah. I've developed very, very well in the in the right direction, and obviously he has a very huge influence in my in my career. Did he contact you after winning promotions and congratulations? Uh, quite busy recently. Yeah, his <laughs> uh, his his son his son contacted me also. Yeah, David Wagner as well. So yeah. I'm, I'm told 
that he once sort of dubbed you the next big thing when you were a lot younger. How did that affect your career? It's quite a lot of pressure to put on a young player. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, as a young player, I, I became a, a pro with 16. I didn't know how to how to handle certain situations, and obviously, um, yeah, my development wasn't uh, yeah like everyone expected it. So yeah, what should I say? I mean, uh, as Ben can tell the same as young player, you're you're not used maybe to to the whole load in training sessions. I was injured the first few few years very often. So. Yeah, but after that, uh, yeah, as I said, I got used to it and yeah, got better. So, is there a feeling going into next season playing in the Premier League, which a lot of people have considered one of the best, most competitive leagues in the world, that you're you making up for lost time next season? Yeah, kind of, <laughs> definitely. And talk about young players, Ben. I mean, this club seems to have tried to cultivate a, a real <coughs> uh, school for young players, bringing yeah. them through, giving them chances. Yourself, Jamal, lots of different players in the squad. Um, if you were a young player now and you were looking for a club to join, is, it, is there a case to be made that you'd probably it'd be a better choice to join Norwich than the likes of Chelsea and Man United now? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's definitely a pathway here. You know, the boss trusts young players. When you get your opportunity, you know, as long as you grab it um, and you do what's ask, asked of you, then, you know, he, he, he um, you know, he won't take you out of the team. You know, if he has a reason to keep you in there, you know that's fine. If you're if you're old and you know if you're good enough, you're old enough, as they say. Um, but you, you know, you've just got to be hungry as a young lad, and that's what me, Max, Jamal, and Todd, we all we're all starving for for success. Um, and you know, and that's that's worked out really well for us this year. But yeah, as I said, you know, it's credit to the boss. Um, he creates that pathway pathway for us, and fair play to him for doing that. You know, it's very brave. I mean, it, it is, and it will be even braver in the Premier League. And we believe them when they say that they're going to, going to do it, but is there a part of you that's, you know, until it happens, until you get regular games in the Premier League, you know, believe when you see it sort of happens? No, yeah, your mind's built to think neg negatively anyway, and then think you know, only only believe it until it happens. But you've got to back yourself, um, and you've got to tell yourself and believe that you will do it. Um, and I think that way, you know, you give yourself the best chance, along with working as hard as you can. Yeah, I know you're out on loan last season. What has been, what's it been like being at a club and seeing these players come in from maybe German clubs and um, players you might not have known so much about before, whereas other championship clubs are maybe signing bigger names. How, how's that been for you? They're all right. They've done the job, haven't they? So yeah. <laughs> they're not too bad. But um, yeah, it was. It was the club went through massive changes, um, as we all know, and you know it took it took a while to um, to work out. You know, two years, which you know, fair play to, to Stuart Webber and the club for for being patient with it. Um, you know, it's paid off massively, as we all as we all know with with promotion. But um, yeah, yeah, at the time. Um, you know, signing players which maybe some people haven't heard of is, is but we, we, well, you've got to trust the people behind the scenes. You know, the recruitment staff and things like that, and I think that shows how good they are at their job this year. You know, with the signing of Mario, Timu Puki, things like that. It's not, it's not a coincidence, is it? How all these players can just come from unknown and, and click. Um, they clearly know what they're looking for. Um, so yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long two years of ups and downs and trying to get this philosophy to work, but it's, it's paid off. And Mario, what makes this club? Different to other clubs you've played for. I guess it's a it's a whole area. It's so so like so full of energy. Like um, the, the promotion means a lot to us, but also to to us players and the stuff. But also to the people here, uh, yeah, to the supporters. I got so many messages like saying thanks for for the for the great for the great season. Also like. We were just like entertaining the people, not not just like winning games. Um, coincidentally, just like yeah, playing great football and uh, it's just just about that to support us and, and um, yeah. And I know your friend had this vision that you would play for Norwich, but was there one or two moments uh, when Norwich came interested? Was there a moment where you thought, yes, that is the club I want to play for? Whether it was down to Daniel Farker or Stuart Webber, mm. what was it that made you make that final decision? Um, obviously, when I when I came here to to visit to see the facilities to see, to talk to Stuart Weber and and uh, Daniel Farker, and when I when I see the the whole passion in that club, um, I was just like, oh, that's the thing I want to do. And uh, I think two days later, I was I was here again signing for for Norwich City, and <laughs> I'm I was happy. I, I'm pleased that I've done this. Yeah, um, did you tell us earlier that uh, the sports psychologist David Hughes came to you early in the season? Could you tell us like what effect that had on you 
Um, different psychologists work different, obviously. You know, you, 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 some people might not take anything away from it. Some people might just take 1%, but then 1% add up. Um, and that could be the difference. Um, you know, for me, um, it, it taught me to, to, to stay positive and forget mistakes. Um, you know, move on from that. That was what I took from it. You know, Mario might have took something else from it, but yeah, you know, it can, it can work in different ways. But you know, them little things can can definitely make the difference um, in, in getting promoted or not. In, in his book, Barcelona, where he talks about spinning the philosophy of the club, do you see Norwich as a club that does that from right from the top down? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, as I said, you know, through Stuart and, and the boss, they they stick with their philosophy no matter what situation they're in, um, what type of game it is. You know, and they're passionate about it. Um, you know, and they pass that right through from first team right through the through, through the academies as well. And that's that's going to be, you know, so beneficial for for young lads um, through the whole club. Ben, you mentioned that the first five games things didn't go quite well. Was there a moment, a, a game, a, 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 what changed? What moment? Don't you believe in that? Hey, we can do this. Um, I think to me, we were 1-0 down in, in the derby at Ipswich. Um, the atmosphere was was you know it was loud. Obviously, it was an incredible atmosphere. Um, it was a tense game. Um, you know, and we ended up pulling a, a late goal um, through Morris Lightner, I think, to, to make it to make it 1-1. And uh, you know to, to move out of that game on a positive, and then I think we had the international break. Um, so at least we finished that that period of the season on on a little bit of a high. Um, you know, and then we moved on to Middlesbrough at home, mm. where it just sort of changed. You know, things just sort of were, felt a little bit brighter, um, and it just sort of clicked from there. Really, we ended up beating them one 0 at home, and and we never looked back from there. You know, we we um, made a couple of changes, and yeah, you know, the side just looked full of energy and 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 a lot better off than a couple of games before that. Mario, the way this team plays, it's been very exciting. As players, is it a fun team to play? Oh, definitely. I'm, um, I'm, somehow I'm sad that the season is finished, but also I'm happy to, to be uh, on holidays. But it's been just enjoyable also, like sometimes I was unfortunately sitting on the bench. Or it was it was enjoyable to, to watch, I think, also for, for the supporters and it's a pure joy. And can a star what do you think, in the Premier League? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, obviously we, we, we need to, to work on certain areas, definitely. Obviously, the club will make some new signings and stuff, and uh, to develop our team. And um, yeah, it, it will work definitely. Ben, on, ben on, you touched on the Ipswich game. I was one of the first you actually played at centre back, wasn't it? You came on yeah. second half. Honestly, now, what did you think when the manager said earlier in the season, Ben Godfrey for me, world class centre half in the making? Um, obviously, at your time, you're thinking, you know, well, <laughs> thinking I'm a midfielder in my head, but. At the end of the day, is 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 where he is for a reason. So I trust his opinion. You know, if he thinks I can kick on a lot further on as a centre back, then so be it. You know, because I'm just trying to get, you know, as far as I can in, in this game. Um, so yeah, I, I trust his opinion, which I, you know, yeah, you have to do. Um, but you know, it, it turns out he's right. You know, my attributes um, worked out pretty well at centre back. You know, I've got a lot to learn. Um, but yeah, I back myself to play both positions anyway. But um, it's definitely a position that I've, I've enjoyed playing. Um, and yeah, I've, I've loved learning and, and kicking on as a centre back this year. And how, how important in that, as you say, learning curve to have obviously you and Christoph towards the end of the season, but you've got Grant, you've got Tim, yeah. two experienced international centre backs, you must have been able to lean on those lads as well. Yeah, massively. Um, what I would say, that they've been unbelievable whilst I've been playing and, and they haven't featured as much. Um, you know, they've seen all this and done it before, they've played Premier League. Um, you know, Grant was playing Prem when he was 18, or a ridiculously young age. Tim's an international player Prem, so you know they, the opposition that I'll be playing against, they've seen them before. You know, they can give me a bit of tips and, and their, their tricks, what they like to do, so I can be, you know, I can know that before a game. Um, and if I'm feeling a certain way, I can speak to them about it because they've been through it all. So you know, def they've been unbelievable. You know, so supportive and positive. And my advice, you know, they've been incredible. Um, as of loads of the lads that haven't been playing, but you know, them two for me, I've been able to learn so much from without them actually. Being on the pitch. And just final one on, on that one. First real season as a centre back, you've obviously shown you can do the role, but and you touched on it there. How much more do you think you have to learn to really master that position? Yeah, of course. I'm you know I'm 21, so I've got loads to learn. Um, you know bits bits that I'm I don't know are coming. I'm going to see something in a game where I think you know I need to change that. Oh, I need to do this next time. I saw you learning football. You just have to you know you make mistakes. You learn from them or you, you watch people. Um, so yeah, I can't say how much have I got to learn, but there's definitely a lot of things that um, I'm going to have to pick up and 
and change and adapt to to, to kick on to that next level and be ready for Premier League. Ben, um, the coach always talks about the fact that because we've got so many young players in the team, that there might be fluctuations in form. Yeah. So from your point of view, and also Jamal and Max, how pleasing is it for you all to maintain that consistency of performance all the way through the season? Yeah, um, with, with young players, everyone's going to make mistakes. Um, and yeah, as you said, you know, you're know, you not guaranteed to, to be so consistent all the time. We've been really fortunate enough this year to, to have sort of carried out quite a lot of, you know, um, wins and, and not, not as many, you know, not many losses. Um, you know, but that's down to other people around us as well. Um, as I said, you know, we've got that experience around us to carry us through them tough times um, when we have made mistakes or, you know, because we are, we are all still learning. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's been incredible, you know, for us to, to sort of be this consistent. I don't think many people saw it coming, but, um, you know, we've always backed ourselves um, to play at this level and, and higher. So, um, you know, we've got promotion up, we can win the title and then kick on, as I've said, to the next level and see if we can do it there. And how much of a help did last season at Shrewsbury help you throughout the season? Massively. Um, obviously, in turn, I was a midfielder there, so, you know, I got on the ball. Um, in some tight situations, which I've been then able to, you know, come into centre back. And in this team, you, you have to be good with the ball, and we get a lot of it at centre back. You know, we start the attacks, so that's benefited me in that sense. Um, in terms of big occasions and games, you know, I went to Wembley twice, uh, lost both of them, so I don't like that place anymore. But um, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's definitely uh, gave me up and got me ready for for these big occasions. And you know, so I know what I'm going to be coming up with in terms of atmosphere. I know what I'm going to see um, this year, and it definitely got me ready. For it. Yeah, I'd, I'd advise any young lad to go out and learn. I was fortunate enough to do it at a good level. Yeah, Mario, were you surprised at how consistent they have been as well? The younger guys? Better no, say, yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't surprised. No, I knew uh, how big the quality of those guys are, and um, yeah, uh, obviously they <laughs> they played so well, and I I wasn't I wasn't. Um, I wasn't surprised because I saw the guys in the preseason and um, they were ready. They were ready, fully focused, and yeah, they helped us a lot for the season. Jens, the strength of the team spirit this season has been so crucial. So there will be obviously players coming in this summer, however many. What would you say to them about what you guys will ex expect of them to make sure that that team ethic continues? Um, I think it's. It's, it's, you've got to think of your team. It's not all about you. I think that's been a massive factor this year. Um, you sacrifice things for yourself, for, for others. Um, you know, so yeah, definitely. You know, you can't come into this team just being an individual. That's one thing that I'll definitely tell a new sign if they can. Yeah, as I said, Love don't it. don't be selfish. <laughs> yeah. And in terms of, uh, we can hear the building work going on in the background. Are you kind of guys kind of looking forward to coming back to Colney where it's a bit more settled because this is going to be a one hell of a facility for you guys and different yeah. to what you would have seen when you both arrived here really two or three years ago where there hadn't really been a lot done to the place. I mean they've all club almost managed to develop the training ground whilst also earning yeah. promotion mm. yes. the, the training it starts to look like a Premier League training ground as well um, it was a good facility before but they're kicking it on to, to the you know to a whole different level now with, with that facility over there um, as you can see um, and when we come back in pre-season it'll look unbelievable and looking forward to seeing it um, yeah, yeah. Ben would, um, would Mario get your vote for Norwich City goal of the season? Yeah, I actually just did an interview earlier. I said that was my goal of the season. Uh, there was another one. There was another one. Someone scored at Reading, where from the edge of the box, um, sure which is a decent <laughs> goal. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe Mario's is definitely up there. The free kick or the one on Saturday? I'd say the one on Saturday. Yeah, um, with the occasion in the game as well, hundred percent. And Mario told us after the Sheffield Wednesday game that he practices his, his free kicks in training every day. Yeah, he kicks them onto the road from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all the time. Do they all go in? They? Yeah, well, he's in the wall, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be safe if you're having them. Um, no, he does practice them a lot, and I think it shows as well. You can't just. like It's not. You know, look that you step up and you bend it into the, the top corner is it a couple of times. So yeah, um, yeah, there's a lot of hours of practice that's gone into that and it's paid off. You know, not many people can not many people have the, the, the hunger and determination to stay outside and, and do that whilst everyone's showering and going home. So fair play to him, you know, he deserves them them he deserves the credit that he gets for it. Ben, you spoke about your working relationship with the players working relationship with the manager. Do you see the manager or the head coach and Stuart Weber almost as a double act? Do you have to impress them both? Yeah, you have to like 
you have to obviously impress people in football. That's just how it is. Um, but they don't put heaps of pressure on you. You know, they they give you their ideas, and you just have to do that to the best of of, of your ability. But yeah, you know, they, they work um, very similar to each other. You have to do that in terms of sporting director and boss. Otherwise, they're not gonna they're not gonna get on. Um, they have the same you know philosophy and things like that. Um, and I think it works well. I think it's it's a really good way for the club to be doing it. Ben, you know the um, you're talking about your ability and ball at the back, being involved with this team. Exactly what the England centre backs are needing these days. Obviously, a little bit away from that, but you are part, you've been part of the England new set up yeah. and a pretty rapid rise so far. Is that something that you do have one eye on in the future? Because when you consider some of the young players that have come in from the Championship into the Premier League, Gareth Southgate, okay, <laughs> if they impress, has given them chances. So is that something you're thinking about? Yeah, well, it's you know it's, it's changed in England set up over the past couple of years. You know, it, it is actually possible to achieve that now for for young English lads to get into the team. Yeah, of course, it's something I've got my eye on, um, and that's something obviously one step at a time. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, do my job for the team and, and play well. But if, if that opportunity comes in the future, then you know I'll be overwhelmed with it. Yeah, of course, of course, I've got my eye on that. Every boy has in football. Mario, can we just ask you about the goal as well? Can you, can you talk us through it? Was it is it again? The best goal? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Yeah. Is it the best goal you've ever scored from open play? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I would say it was definitely the most important one. Um, what should I say? I had I had lots of time. I was surprised no one attacked me, so I was just like um, determined that I was yeah just gonna hit the ball properly to to score. And uh, yeah, fortunately you went in and uh, yeah. Pure joy, what should I say? Everyone was celebrating. <laughs> and you've had to be a bit patient because you had an injury. You missed all the preseason, didn't you? I think the first five or six games. Yeah. How difficult was it to, to remain patient for your chance? And, and you, well, you had another injury mm. in the second half of the season, so you've had to show a great deal of patience. Yeah, it's always part of, uh, as a player, to be patient somehow. I, uh, I was injured, uh, the team, I think I came into the squad uh, after the first international break, so against Middlesbrough. I came on, uh, the team was doing well, we were, uh, were winning almost every game, so I came on, I think, almost every game, we were doing well, so there was no reason for the, for the manager to, to change something, but um, yeah, sometimes you just need to, to wait for your chance and then obviously you need to be there to use the chance. Um, yeah, as simple as that, and then um, somehow to show to show the elbows that that, that you deserve to, to play to start the games, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I've done. Quirky one, just to finish with maybe um, Ben, um, a, a Norwich fan has already gone and got the Norwich badge tattooed on his leg, saying Champions 2019. He got it about three weeks ago, so he's obviously yeah. confident. <coughs> he's brave, um, yeah. How, how confident should he be, um, or is he going to have to book in for some removal surgery? Uh, oh, oh, fair play to him for being yeah. that brave whether it was <laughs> stupid or not I don't know how to leave you to decide but no he can be confident uh, I just hope for his sake that we go and get it done now <laughs> so, any plans for anyone in the squad to, to follow suit? I'm alright well, I'm alright <laughs>